Welcome back. We turn now to the health effects of the Gulf oil spill. We've already seen more than a half dozen cleanup workers hospitalized and other people complaining of headaches, nausea, dizziness, skin irritation, and a series of other problems. And much of it is being blamed on the chemical dispersants being used. And joining me now from Tampa, Florida, is Dr. Seth Foreman. Dr. Foreman, thanks for joining us. Um, Hi, Tamara. Thank hey, you. What are your thoughts uh, regarding uh, this chemical dispersant? What makes you feel so confident? I believe you compared it even to Agent Orange. Well, it's not that I'm necessarily confident. I'm just concerned about the potential acute and long-term side effects of using something which really doesn't have long-term safety data. And we know that the EPA... I, I feel that... Go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. Go ahead. No. Well, what I was saying is that I'm concerned about my patients who may come in. Now I actually add to my patient profile, have you been to the beach? Have you done any fishing in the Gulf? And do you have any new rashes? And I'll be concerned about new rashes that I don't recognize. I'll be concerned that possibly it is associated with either the oil spill itself or possibly the cleanup, which right now is being mainly done by Corexit. There have been over 850,000 gallons of this dumped into the oil spill. And let me ask you, is it the dispersant itself or the, as you point out, the amount of it that is being used that would potentially cause problems here? Well, that's a good question. We don't know exactly know the answer to that question. All we know is that there is eight, over 850,000 gallons of the dispersant has been sent into the oil spill, and we don't know what a safe concentration is. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because the company that makes this uh, chemical dispersant says that they have no proof or there is no proof that some of these uh, issues that we're seeing um, have anything to do directly with that chemical. Does that surprise you that they would be so adamant in saying without any true knowledge and, and knowing that it has not been used in this quantity, that it is not the reason that these people have rashes and some of them have had to be hospitalized with things like nausea? I very unusual considering I reviewed the MSDS of Corexit and it does say directly uh, long-term exposure or high concentrations can cause CNS toxicity, central nervous system, nausea, vomiting, kidney disease, liver disease, as well as severe dermatitis. Um, how long, what happens at this point with something like this? Do, do you wait until you have more patients coming in and complaining? As I said, one woman said her daughter was experiencing some problems. They went off to Florida and, and she didn't see the rash anymore. How do we learn or know, or are we just waiting to see more signs and problems? This is a great time for dermatologists everywhere to really step it up and really look for unusual rashes and exposures that patients may have. We need to take a good history, a good fishing and possibly beach history. We just ushered in Memorial Day weekend, the largest. I have mixed feelings about beach weekends and now my feelings are even more mixed. Wow. So we need to also look out and reach out to other doctors. We have to ask about other symptoms. Do you have any numbness or tingling? Do you feel dizzy? Do you feel faint? Any associated issues that go along with having this rash yeah. and then monitor for any exposures they may have. All right. Well, uh, doctor, we greatly appreciate you coming on. You're expressing a concern that we're hearing from so many other, not just medical professionals, and we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. And let me know what you think. Go to twitter.msnbc.com for any of your thoughts. A couple of people are already saying that uh, comparing the BP cleanup to the 9-11 cleanup and worrying if we will see people with injuries and suffering from long-term health effects of the cleanup as well. So thank you for your tweets. And uh, before we let you go, we moved our no-way